I am Templar, and today we're going to be talking about one of my newest items. And it'll be these. These are our medieval type footwear. Now, these are from allbeststuff.com. Uh, now, Allbest is going through a little bit of a difficult time due to the virus and such. So, yeah. But I decided to talk about this because I found these uh, footwear extremely awesome because these are actually extremely accurate. How so? Take a look at the bottom. This is historically accurate detail right here. They have these type of nails on the side to keep the leather from moving, and plus also it is actually completely smooth. This is completely smooth. There is no form of, well, <laughs> any textile or anything come keeping me from, well, slipping. Now, this is historical detail. I got this in ankle size. In other words, this is where the end of it goes. Now you can get these in other models uh, as you can see which yeah I decided though to get it like this because I wanted it a little more accurate to detail I don't know why I think I should have gone with this model so still though I do like these a lot. Now when I bought this uh, I had to give them my foot size now don't worry y'all they do have the foot size in general that you can get this with you can get this with say this size and this size because they have uh, a chart down below in the description area on your foot size depending on your country since I live in the US I wear a size 12 and this actually has a marking of 12 now these are actually even made by hand literally these are made by hand and this is really cool because they even have the historical type leather cords that of which well hold this thing together you <laughs> know this is actually really cool uh, now Upon buying this, uh, they did not come with any type of medieval socks. So what I had to do is, well, just use my medieval leggings, as they are called. In fact, these are technically what you could call a sock or a legging, whatever you want to pronounce them as. I just call them a medieval legging because technically that's how they were supposed to be used. And in fact, these would actually be both used to hold the, uh, well, medieval pants together or... A lot of people call them pajama pants today, but technically they're about the same if you think about it. Anyways, with the textile and such, especially if you're being a Viking warrior. Now, these would be perfect for any person that's doing Viking reenactment or even late modern medieval reenactment. In fact, these could be viewed as from the footwear from the late Roman soldier to the uh, technically the colonial period person. However, by that time, they later on put buttons on this. Now, though, these are historical detail to the time, and of which is kind of why I do like these. Now, they have a pointed shoe design, of which all footwear back then had this design. They literally had this weird design to it. So, yeah. Now, it's kind of extremely uh, hard to explain. <laughs> uh, because, well, not but. I'm not putting them on right now, but I will soon. Anyways, uh, now these actually do provide ample cushion. Now, as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see in there, but if y'all are to see in general, this is there is no cushioning. There is literally no cushioning. This is this the top end of the leather down here, which means this is completely just one huge piece. Of leather. Now you can get this with a rubber sole if you want. I did not because I want to keep it historical accurate to possible. Because, well, yeah, you can see why. Now, these in general, um, as you can tell, are extremely different compared to Ro Roman medieval or uh, Hellenistic time periods of footwear. Of which, yeah, I understand. However, these are extremely accurate to medieval period, which is kind of why I like them. Now, they have this weird design angle of point on which I got them, of which, as you can see, it just points upward. Which, historical detail, that's actually what they actually did, so that way you can actually get a said foot movement. Now, I'm still trying to break these in, but yes, these are extremely awesome, because I really do like this very great... Uh, identification to detail because look at that nails and including the fact that it's incredibly smooth so yeah that's actually really awesome 
So yeah, these would be perfect for reenactments. How about we put on my socks and I can show you what I mean by how historical detail they are. Shall we? Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, now as you can tell, I'm going to be doing two versions. One for the very late medieval period leggings, and one that I favor most is, well, the early medieval period leggings. In fact, I would call these leggings, I would call these hose. So, yeah. Now, why don't we first try on these ones, so that way I can provide a little more information. As you all can see, this was uh, in one of my videos. I will leave a link down below on how to make one of these for y'all, because I did a how-to video on how you could make these. Now, first I gotta fit in my leg, which, if y'all don't understand, this is completely easy to refurbish or recreate in history books. So, yeah. Though you might want to get a little more precise measurements than I. Now I managed to get it up to the thigh area, or above the knee area, so that way I can tie on this tie over. So that way, I can easily put it on, like so. Now, Here we go, put this in, like so. And yes, I had these tied on, but I didn't want to wear down the leather on these, so yeah. I'm just going to be putting them like this from now on. Because it kind of helps out with it being historical. So yeah, as you can tell, this is actually extremely accurate to what it might look like. As you can see, this top end just ties it up. In other words, it tightens up around it, keeping the foot completely sealed from, well, anybody managing to, you know. In fact, this does keep me from getting trench foot or swamp foot or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. However, you don't want to step in a bog while wearing these. Because these don't exactly keep your foot sealed from the elements. Because it still has a little bit of an opening here. So that way it can air out. Now, as you can see. My foot is extremely accurate to the detail of the medieval surf. So, yeah. Now, how about we put on the other one? Now, I know it won't look... <laughs> So good while well, uh, wearing the same thing, uh, while well, wearing one different, but yeah. Anyways, I want to keep show you all the difference between them. So, maybe I should just show you all this. First, I wrap it from the top, because yeah, I take my legging. What I do is, I just keep wrapping it downward, using the top layer, because this way I don't need a pin to keep it in place. I could just tuck it in, so to speak. And as well, this easily goes down. Now normally though, you would want to keep your foot a little elevated upwards, so that way you can get around the said openings. And there we go. Now, what I had to do is tuck it in. And there we go. The foot is completely put in his legging. Now, what I have to do is just put in the foot there, like so. Now this though keeps it a little tighter around the foot. So, yeah. This one's gonna be a little hard. Because yeah, this is a lot more cushioning inside the footwear, so yeah. Because instead of tying the bottom first, what you have to do is tie the top. Why? Well, this actually gives you a little more strength to then tie the rest of this leather together, which, as you can see, there's a lot more of it that can actually be pulled over in the process. 
Now you could try making these, but I approve of all best for making these because these do a very great job at making it historical detail. Yes, and even the burbs are rooting me on here. <laughs> now, let's get that on. And there. Now, as you can tell, this actually is extremely different from what these two would have looked like. This is early medieval or foot soldier or including late Roman legionnaire. Well, this is technically a peasant soldier or a medieval foot soldier, as you can see. Now, though, also for this one, Sometimes they would have actually, well, tied them like this with a type of cord to keep them together. Now, I know this isn't uh, a different color. I'm sorry for that. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is a little... Oop, wrong one. <laughs> Hang on. One moment. I think I put too many loops. What you got to do is make sure that it is enough that of which you can actually, well, tie it. Into which you can then and there we go. The thing just well sort of hangs. In fact, this is actually a lot more feeling better. If this feels a lot better around the leg than this does, because I have this little uh, tie up here right where the opening of my knee is, which. It feels a little weird, so yeah. So though, these are historically designed to the detail. Now, I do want to run out and outside and show you all the difference, but unfortunately it was raining a little while ago. So that's a big problem, so yeah. Now though, if you all want to make actually buy these, be my guest, because these are historically detailed to the point. And as well, if you all want to actually try and make your own hose of either types, these are extremely easy. These ones, on the other hand, these will take a while for you to make. Luckily for y'all, I already did a video on how to make these. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I forgot to make a video on this, which is a disappointment to, on my part. So, I'm sorry. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, hopefully you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below. If you all want to subscribe, please do, so that way it helps out the channel. Also, uh, click that bell button for notifications, and also make sure to actually check out our Facebook, and as well, also check out some of our videos. Also, click the, go down to the description down below. That way it can actually show you stuff like this, of how I made this, and as well, I might be able to make a video on how to make these very soon. So anyways guys, also check out these footwear, and also make sure to check out the other type of footwear that they actually do have. I will also leave a video on their vid on All Best video on YouTube, that of which shows this footwear in the description. Anyways guys, uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff, and hopefully see you in the next video. Have a great day! Mm-hmm.